Hello everyone, I'm Akif and today we are going to start our new series which is Introduction to Wireless Sensor Networks and the first topic that we'll discuss is the types of wireless networks. Now wireless networks as the name itself suggests that there is something wireless in it. We are uh, usually uh, accustomed or familiar with the kind of uh, computer networks that are wired. We see uh, coaxial cables, uh, fiber optics, uh, UDPs and uh, in this kind of uh, network which is called as wireless network we have these wireless elements or wireless data connections that help to form this network and the kind of medium or the kind of uh, waves that help them to connect is the electromagnetic radio waves to be a part of internet or to form their own uh, uh, network and uh, the types of networks we have will be discussed sh shortly in fact it will be discussed right now uh, so we have various types of networks whenever we talk about uh, wireless networks it has different kinds and famous uh, types of uh, wireless networks are here like uh, wireless wide area network or WAN, uh, wireless local area networks or WLAN or wireless metropolitan area networks or WMAN and then we have wireless personal area networks or WPAN. Now let's discuss them one by one. So what is a wireless wide area network? We have these towers involved here. You might have seen them uh, whenever you travel in the city. It, this tower might be somewhere near your home or somewhere nearby. So what it is, it is extended over a large area. This network is extended over a large area. It may be a city, uh, it may be a town or entire country. Uh, it helps to connect these various uh, parts of the city together and uh, the kind of technology that makes this happen is GSM or 3G or 4G. Uh, now if we have various branch offices for example I have a business and uh, one of my branches somewhere uh, far in some remote town so it's wireless wide area network that helps us to connect with that uh, branch office my of my business um, then we have a wireless local area network you can consider uh, them to be two or more computers that are extended over a small region now let's suppose that uh, these two buildings these are a part of a campus for example we have this as block a then we have block b now these both are connected together and this is a, a LAN a wireless local area network so it, it doesn't extend more than uh, a building or a campus uh, its range is not that much and then we have these radio waves like all other networks as far as wireless network is cons considered uh, th that helps them to communicate and uh, the standard uh, we have IEEE standard that we have is uh, IEEE 802.11 and it's marketed by uh, what is called as wireless fidelity band or Wi-Fi then we have wireless metropolitan area networks and some confuse it with wireless wide area network but it's not like that we can think of it as some something which is in between the two that is wireless LAN and wireless WAN. Uh, it doesn't extend much more than 30 or 40 kilometers. Now, if you have all these buildings that, that, that extend over uh, some 50 kilometers or something, and they, each building has uh, its own LAN. Suppose this uh, belongs to this very building, then this belongs to this building, this belongs to this building, and this belongs to this building, and this is how they are connected. Uh, you can consider it to be as a repetition of many lands that are connected together. So what are, uh, as I said, it extends over you know, 50 miles or something more, 30 miles. It's owned by some organization like ISP or internet service provider and the kind of uh, wireless network technology that makes this possible is WiMAX otherwise known as uh, IEEE 802.16 
Then we have wireless personal area network. As the name itself suggests, is something that is personal. So what is personal? Something that I have in my room. In my room, I have things like woofers or headphones or PDAs or gadgets or mobile phones or even mouse connected uh, to my laptop or something like that. So it doesn't extend much more than that. That's what wireless personal area network is all about. Then we have the information. The information is conveyed over a small distance and we have the likes of Bluetooth. Also we have a Zigbee or 802.15.4. In future you will hear this kind of standard time and again because we have IoT which is going to be the third wave in the technological world and this standard you will uh, listen at uh, very often though so the important features of this is that it's power efficient it doesn't consume much power it's inexpensive it has little or no infrastructure in all these kinds of wireless networks we discussed we saw that some sort of infrastructure was involved in land we had these buildings uh, in metropolitan area networks we had these towers uh, then we had same case with the wide area networks, these towers involved. In all these cases, uh, in some sort of infrastructure was involved. But in case of personal area networks, we don't have uh, things like that. It's m simple and it's sweet. So that was all for today. Thanks for watching. And if you found that these videos were very useful, like it, subscribe to our channel, and share these videos.